So is it possible that talks or negotiations will be possible in the, in the near future? Or is it already closed? I don't know how the future look like. I know one thing. We have to dismantle Hamas. Will it happen even though there will be a lot more victims? Uh, first of all, we had, as you know, many victims. That is the biggest numbers in Israel per day. Perang antara Israel melawan militan Hamas Palestina kian mencekam. Hingga Senin 9 Oktober 2023, lebih dari 1.000 warga Israel tewas dan lebih dari 2.000 lainnya luka-luka. Selain itu, lebih dari 400 warga di Gaza juga menjadi korban tewas. Serangan di Hamas sebelumnya pecah pada Sabtu 7 Oktober 2023 melalui peluncuran ribuan rudal dari Gaza ke wilayah selatan Israel. Israel pun meluncurkan serangan balasan yang kini meluas hingga ke Lebanon. Lantas, bagaimana situasi terkini di perbatasan Israel? Apakah akan terbuka pintu untuk negosiasi? Untuk menjawab pertanyaan ini, Kumparan telah terhubung secara online dengan Duta Besar Israel untuk Singapura, Eli Vered Hazan. Mr. Ambassador, um, our first question is, the Hamas militant attack across Israel on Saturday is one of the deadliest attacks in the Middle East region in decades. And how, how um, as we speak, how are the current situations in the field and what cities in Israel have been attacked by Hamas by now? First of all, we are still fighting against the terrorist monsters of Hamas. There are a few places in Israel it's still in ongoing uh, fight because most likely they have places that they are uh, infiltrating into Israel. But we will put an end very soon and we will go on in order to dismantle Hamas. We will put an end to this, you know, cycles, vicious cycles of terror. And what we have seen in the past, it's not going to be in the future. Uh, Mr. Ambassador, um, looking at how delicate and how sensitive this issue is, it's important for us to understand the conflict and cover both sides. So as an Israeli citizen, how are you seeing this conflict and what triggers it to happen? You have to understand the basic and thank you for letting me explain in that. In 1947, the UN decided to uh, divide the country into two a Jewish state and an Arab state. The Jews said yes, the Arabs said no. In general, they started to attack. There were, by the way, many, we were few. We did the impossible, we won. And ever since, this is the basic of this conflict. Every few years, there is a, an offer on the table in order to form the two-state solution. Uh, now, taking, for instance, Hamas in 1993, since the beginning, they refused to any solution of the two states and they promoted ever since, even a little bit before, since 1988, uh, the notion that we have to annihilate the Jews, uh, to destroy the state of Israel. And that is, the, I would say, the framework for our conflict. Uh, it's not going to last a lot. I believe that this is the last time uh, we are going to confront Hamas because we are going to dismantle Hamas completely. It would be the end of those vicious cycles the Israelis will not suffer anymore from this kind of entity. And that was the background that I was, I've given you. Mm -hmm. I would like to get back on that a little bit later. But uh, our second question is about the weapons that the Hamas militants used. So um, this escalation of Hamas attack is much greater than before. And in fact, some of the weapons used by Hamas seem to be new weapons that had never been used before. So, do you think there are other countries that support Hamas in terms of weapons? Yes, no doubt about it. The Iranians support Hamas very much. Hezbollah supports Hamas very much. Uh, I would say all the evil forces uh, support Hamas. Those who want to kill people support Hamas. And what we will do, we will defend ourselves. There were some reports uh, that Hamas has been planning for such a huge attack to Israel since a year ago. It was, uh, it was said that it, it's been planned a long time ago, but has the Israeli Defense Forces already anticipated it? Because it seemed like so many, how to say, it seemed like it's, it was surprising for them as well. So how would you explain to us whether if Israeli government already predicted this, it will happen soon? Or you seem surprised? You raised... 
you raised a very interesting uh, question. Uh, we will ask the questions, those appropriate questions, but we will do it after we will defeat Hamas. You have to understand that right now we are focusing only on defeating Hamas. This is the most important thing, not only for the state of Israel. This is the most important thing for the world because we are dealing with monsters. We are dealing with people. I don't know if you've seen the pictures and the videos. They slaughtered babies, families, whole families. They slaughtered human beings. And what we are going to do is right now focusing on this necessity. Uh, the next question is, um, Israel's uh, biggest ally, United States, Joe Biden has emphasized that the U.S. is ready to help Israel. But is it true that Israel needs help to fight Hamas? Uh, we can do it by ourselves, but I tell you what's the difference right now. I truly believe that we are going into a long journey. It will take some time uh, to dismantle Hamas. Uh, and we need the support of the world. We need the support of the free world. We need the support of those who support human beings. Uh, without it, we can't make it. If people will start to criticize Israel, it's going to be very difficult for us. But we will do it in either way. But the support of the world, the support of the Americans all along the way, in order to dismantle, dismantle those monsters from Hamas, it's acut. It's very important, and we are expecting the world to support us. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned that this fight will be the last, that uh, the biggest one, the biggest ambition from Israel is to ban banish the uh, Hamas militants. And how would you, how would you emphasize how that would happen? I mean, we are. The it's very simple. It's very simple. We are going to dismantle Hamas. We are going to destroy Hamas. We have no other choice but to do it. We have no other choice but, you know, to attack the leaders of Hamas, to attack the weapons, to dismantle the weapons that Hamas has. And after that, I assume we are going into a different era. And I'm hoping that other countries will join to this future after the war. Mm -hmm. And will Israelis counterattacks focus on Gaza alone or will it target another areas outside Gaza? Whatever needed, whatever needed in order to dismantle the brutality of the monsters from Gaza, that's what we will do. Mm -hmm. Because as we speak, the attacks has been arrived in Lebanon. If Lebanon, if Hezbollah wants it as well, we will dismantle uh, those operations as well. Uh, we will do everything human possible to destroy our enemies. And I want to go back in history, you have to understand that we are Jews, we've been under a lot of persecutions all along our history. At, at the end, we were victorious. It's, and nothing's going to change in that case. Mm -hmm. So is, did it, is it okay, is it is pro appropriate for us to conclude that Israel will launch bigger attacks if necessary? We will do everything human possible in order to defeat our enemies. That's what we will do. We call it self-protection. It's very logical. Every logical country does it. And Israel is no exception in that case. And again, we need the support of the world in order to be very successful. Okay. Um, and what message does Israel want to convey to Hamas? And how should Indonesia view the conflict between Israel and Hamas right now? We tell to our to the Hamas members, you have two options, either committing suicide or leaving Gaza. Nothing else will be accepted. We want to dismantle Hamas. Now, refer, referring to the uh, Indonesians. Uh, Indonesia, I believe, uh, should play a very important role in order to promote peace between the Israelis and the Palestinians. Uh, and I, I guess that in the future, we will be there. Mm -hmm. uh, so... What kind of role that Indonesia do you think can properly play? Uh, well, it depends. Mediator? It depends on the Indonesian. I believe that uh, if Indonesia will be a mediator, it's a good option. But again, we are not there yet. The most important thing is to defeat Hamas, to dismantle Hamas. Um, and we are right now in this stage. Mm -hmm. As an ambassador, how long do you think this conflict will last? 
Um, it's going to be a long journey. Think about it. There are many weapons. Uh, this is an authority of evil led by leaders who want uh, who wants to destroy us, who want to annihilate the Jews. If you want to know more about the Hamas background, go to the Hamas Covenant. Since 1988, it's been written out loud and clear. We're going, we want to annihilate the Jews. And as I told you, this time it's going to be different. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And does it also impact the Israelis' effort to normalization with the Saudi Arabia? How do you think about that situation? Oh, I tell you what, they started this conflict, this massive attack, because they wanted to prevent a connection between Israel and Saudi Arabia. That was, the, I believe, the purpose. Uh, they had, or they still have, the support of Iran. Iran wants Iran as a devastated force in the world wants to prevent any peace, any, you know, any effort to promote between people. Iran has one mission, is destroying people, only that. And I'm hoping that the Saudis will be very clever. Uh, they will, you know, uh, promote peace with Israel. It's achievable. I strongly believe it's, it, it is achievable. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. So how does Israel right now view the peace efforts and implementation of two-state solution after the war broke out in Gaza? I think you should address this question to the Palestinians. I mean, ever since the 1920s, in the last decade, uh, it's been, you know, offers on the table to the partition of the state. The Jews have said yes, the Arabs said no, and here we are. I mean, you know, uh, we had a very interesting leader, leader named Golda Meir, and she said something like, if the Arabs will lay down the weapon, it will be peace. If the Jews will lay down the weapon, it will be no Israel. So you can think about this kind of equation. Mm -hmm. uh, moving on to the next question. Uh, until now, the UN Security Council has not issued a statement, but we already concerned about the regional inflammation and spillover. So is it possible that talks or negotiations will be possible in the, f in the near future, or is it already closed? I don't know how the future look like. I know one thing. We have to dismantle Hamas. That is the most important thing right now. I don't speak about speculations. I'm not this kind of, of a person. We have to dismantle Hamas. That is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. So if there will be more, it, will it happen even though there will be a lot more victims? Uh, first of all, we had, as you know, many victims. That is the biggest numbers in Israel per day. Uh, this is why we are so anxious and determined uh, to dismantle Hamas. Uh, first of all, let us finish with our mission to dismantle Hamas again, hoping to get the support of the world, and then we will be able to discuss about further, I would say, processes. Mm -hmm. uh, so, moving on to the more uh, wider region. So, Indonesia and many countries that do not have diplomatic rela relations with Israel are deeply concerned with the escalation of conflict between Palestine and Israel, not only with Hamas. Uh, but they don't, we didn't say as criticism or condemnation at all. So again, what do you expect from in the Indonesian government uh, role in this conflict? Do you think Indonesia can take a bigger role in helping create peace in the Middle East? I know that you have mentioned before it's up to Indonesian, but as an ambassador, could you maybe say some expectations from the from your side because as you see a lot of uh here indonesians we support palestines but maybe as an ambassador you would like to say a few words from the israelis point of view that indonesians need to know too first of all let me thank you for being fair and honest it's very important we are hoping to achieve peace with all our neighbors if you look back in history in 1979, we achieved peace with Egypt. In 1994, we achieved peace with Jordan. In 2020, Prime Minister Netanyahu achieved peace with United Arab Emirates, Bahrain, Morocco, Chad, Sudan, and all those countries. We are willing and we want to bring more Muslim countries into the table. Think about it. Think about the future. 
how uh, we can create synergy between the abilities of the Israelis and the abilities of, you know, Indonesians and others, Muslims, Arabs, Christians, whatever. Let's think about the future. Instead of fighting one with each other, let's fight for the future. And you know that the future brings many challenges to the world. I can see I'm your neighbor from Singapore. I can see the challenges of Indonesia. We can make it together. It depends on us, not on others. Mm -hmm. And how are you seeing the comments online about this conflict? Like most of, um, I mean, celebrities from the West, they support Israel, most of, uh, most of them. But citizens from Indonesia, let's just take the example, they are more talking about supporting Palestinians rather than Israel. How are you, how are you responding? What I do, I think about it, I tell you what, I strongly believe that we are good against evil. I strongly believe that those from Indonesia who support Hamas simply don't know the situation. I strongly believe that every person, if he would know that Hamas massacred and butchered babies, infants, he would not be on the other side. He will be on our side. But unfortunately, there is a brainwashing. Unfortunately, there is, I would say, a kind of misinformation. I strongly believe that if people will know the truth, Israel is a good place. Hamas uh, led uh, the Palestinians in a into a terrible situation. Support Israel. This is the only way to secure the future. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Mr. Ambassador, that will be all of our questions. Thank you so much again for your time. Thank and you. For your explanation. Thank you. Yes, uh, please be safe, stay, uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Demikian wawancara kami bersama Duta Besar Israel untuk Singapura, Eli Verad Hazan. Saksikan berbagai update mengenai konflik Hamas dan Israel hanya di website dan media sosial kumparan. Saya Alia Bunga beserta segenap tim yang bertugas pamit undur diri. Terima kasih dan sampai jumpa.